Now, at the event, Ashwarya also caught up with Raj Menda, co-owner and corporate chairman of RMZ Corporation, and asked him about RMZ's plan of rolling out real estate investment trusts. As an organization, RMZ will be looking at going for REITs uh, sometime next year. Uh, we plan to roll out the REITs in Q3 of 2017. Uh, we'll be filing in uh, somewhere in the uh, first quarter for, for the REIT applications and move forward with that. And, uh, and because the REIT legislation now is quite conducive for the investors to, to come in and, and get a good share of return and also enjoy the, the, the upside on the real estate. So historically, we've been a very sound uh, investment in India. A lot of people don't want to really buy their own property because it's very uh, messy to buy property, maintain it, look after the security. Now, if you want to simply enjoy the real estate curve, the ride of the real estate, it's easier to just buy in and out of REITs and enjoy the same benefits rather than physically going and buying assets of your own and getting stuck. What will drive the group's business going forward? What are the kind of sectors specifically that you are looking at to drive growth? Office, uh, where the demand is still there from IT, ITS, and more so uh, Bangalore leading the, the absorption, that's where our, our main base is. Uh, we will continue to grow in that segment going forward because the absorption is still phenomenal. And most of our buildings, uh, rather I would say all our new buildings, are pre-leased uh, nearly one year prior to completion, which is a good sign that means the demand is far in excess of the grade A supply that is there in the market. So ITIS, they have been the, this has been the sector which has been driving the growth. So do you think that in the next six months to one year also, this is the sector that will drive growth, especially in office space? So it, I think it's, it's a, a long haul game. Uh, the fact that you can see most of the uh, large multinationals, which were earlier outsourcing their uh, businesses uh, to the Indian uh, counterparts, are now coming in on their own footprints and are, are able to grow successfully and are comfortable. Because when I speak to a lot of the CEOs who drive the India businesses, they, they are more than excited to grow their business and off, offshore a lot of their work, which is being done in other more expensive countries, and move back into India because the quality of manpower that is available in English speaking and English thinking because our colleges in India do churn out a lot of English speaking graduates in these areas. So it makes it easier to uh, absorb the staff over here and they're happy to outsource to cheaper uh, alternative staff which produce good quality in India. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.